Looks like Tolwyn's about to steamroll her another career. I told the captain to look out, but would he listen? <laughs> Maniac, when have you known someone to actually take your advice? I just told him I speak from experience. You poisoned Tolwyn against me from the start. He's had it out for me ever since. I've got news for you. Tolwyn had nothing to do with your lack of promotion. Your flying style took care of that for you. Tolwyn doesn't even know you're alive. Oh, that's what you think. Everybody knows about the maniac. Everybody. How many people here know about the maniac? Oh, what, nobody? Sir. You seem awfully keyed up. I'd ease back on the throttle a little if I were you. We're a long way from Kilra. Not a moment too soon, I can tell you that. You know, I don't think I've seen anyone as anxious to waste the enemy as you. Oh, I'd blast planet after planet if it would breathe the galaxy of Kiorathi. There's no justification for their existence. And that includes your buddy Hobbs. Jesus, Lieutenant, it's like an endless loop with you. You have no clue. So enlighten me. They took me when I was 10. Who, the Kilrathi? Slave labor camp. I escaped when I was 20. <sighs> must have been. You have no idea what it must have been. I saw things. The psych guy spent two years trying to pry things out of my head after I escaped. But you can't wipe it all. There's a little bit of Kilrathe prowling around inside of me, and I can't get it out. One day, there won't be any human left. We're gonna get him. You'll see. Keep telling me that, Colonel. Even if it's not true. Colonel, you shouldn't be this far away from the fray. War is everywhere, Captain. No escaping it. I'm not a captain anymore. First time I've been like that since... I don't think I was even shaving when I first took the helm. What am I without a ship, Colonel? Captain. They can promote us, demote us, bounce us all over the galaxy. There's only one thing that matters. That first time you shaved, you could look yourself in the mirror. You can still do that now. Speak frankly, Admiral. Well, I've never known you to do otherwise. With all due respect, sir, I don't think your assumption of command has done ship morale much good. I'm not really interested in public opinion polls on my tactical decisions. And as I recall, you weren't particularly enthused about your own transfer to this vessel when it happened. That was before I was acquainted with its crew, sir. Ah, yes. A fine quality, your transfer of loyalties. Project Behemoth needs a guardian angel. I've been with it since its inception. The choice was clear-cut and indisputable. We all have just one superior, Colonel. The progress of the war. Yes, sir.
Well, this is a simple one, Colonel. Cover me while I fire the behemoth. That sounds simple enough, Admiral. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck.
Going home in a box. Help me out here. Yes, victory. Wow. Gives new meaning to Big Bang, don't it, Colonel? You're cleared to land cause, because we're heading out of here and we're pointing this bucket to kill them. Pretty slick flying, sir. Thanks, Chief. 